Due to Western sanctions during almost two years of a full-scale war against Ukraine, some antibiotics, anti-tumor drugs, medications for blood pressure, diabetes, and sometimes even simple ones, anti-allergic drugs have become scarce or have completely disappeared from pharmacies in Russia. At the beginning of 2023, a special commission complied a list of scarce goods, which included 97 items. Aspirin, paracetamol, covalol, and even iodine were almost unavailable to Russians. It is not that supplies have stopped, it is just that the transfer of medicine from another country to Russia has become so unpredictable, long and expensive that apparently this is why they are disappearing, because it is simply unprofitable to transfer. It is difficult, most likely because of this. Moreover, the research that was being conducted has stopped, and new drugs most likely will not be registered, because in order for them to be available in Russia, they must undergo local clinical trials. I also don't think anyone needs this now. Alexander Vanyukov, surgeon, in an interview with the current Time publication. Not all global pharmaceutical companies have led the Russian market, but their work has been made difficult by expensive logistics. Joint development of new drugs with the participation of Western specialists and technologies has also stopped. Thus, Russian citizens lost access to modern medical developments. Such conclusions were made by journalists from the publication Current Time, who conducted an investigation in the Russian medical field. Over the next 10 years, due to the fact that all foreign pharmaceutical companies have in fact stopped their development in Russia, Russian patients will not receive 300 new drugs over the next 10 years, which are likely to be developed in these 10 years. Naturally, these will be the most modern, effective medicines, but they will probably not be on the Russian market. It may turn out that there will not only be nothing to treat Russians with, but also no one to. Mobilization and repression by security forces often become the reason for the migration of doctors and paramedical personnel from Russia, journalists believe. Those doctors who practicized, studied constantly in European hospitals were improving their qualifications. All this will now be inaccessible to Russian medicine. And some people who understand everything perfectly well, who understand that the Russian invasion of a sovereign country in fact cuts off Russia from the global world, they in fact tried to leave. Meanwhile, the Kremlin is throwing all its efforts and funds from the state budget into continuing the war against Ukraine. British intelligence says that due to the large number of wounded at the front, civilians are massively under-receiving medical care. The war is likely to be significantly contributing to this situation as hospitals are treating wounded personnel. The government is also being forced to reduce the civilian health estate nationwide due to a lack of clinical staff and financial pressures. From a British Defence Intelligence report on social network X. 90% of Russian companies producing medical drugs, according to experts, use Western equipment. Before the start of a full-scale war against Ukraine, the main suppliers were Western European countries, the USA and Switzerland. Now the Federation market has shifted to low-quality technologies from China, India and Turkey. In addition, Russia still cannot resolve the issue of the shortage of active substances for medicines. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.